they've started recording, so, um, Neha, do you want to help me avoid legal snags? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, tell, I, I, the message didn't come up, but, like, tell us that you're recording us to avoid legal snags. All right, Neha, I am telling you that I am recording. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Um, oh, there was something, there, what was that? Okay, never mind. Oh, that was my Okay. Um, let me screen share like I was doing yesterday again. Um, all right. You guys, can you guys see my screen again? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So w there was one more thing I wanted to add, which had to do with the Mongols and the Yuan dynasty was with, um, what's it called? The, the Red Termin Rebellion, I think. That had to do with the uh -huh. Yuan dynasty, right? That was how they fell. I think. That was how the right. Yuan Dynasty fell, or that was how the Song Dynasty fell? Um, wasn't it like, I remember, I remember that it was related to the White Lotus Society because they both had colors in the names. Yes. And the White Lotus Society was like Buddhist, I think. Yes, then... you're right, right. Um, so that would be in, that was in post-classical, I think, because that was Mongols, right? That was in the Mongols PowerPoint. Well, it could yeah. be in the other one, too, but let's just... Hit Control F and see what pops up. Red Termin Rebellion was Yuan Dynasty collapse. Um, that was the collapse of the Yuan Dynasty into Ming Dynasty, yes. right? Okay, what year yes. was that? Um, let me check. Let me search. Because I want to make sure I'm putting it in the right unit. Unit five is so long. Unit five, yes. These are these few units are going to be. It was in thirteen fifty one to to thirteen sixty eight. Okay, all right. So this is how we get into the Ming Dynasty. So the Ming Dynasty actually starts in Unit one in the post Unit one and two in the post classical, but we're going to focus on them in Unit three and four because they are in early modern, right? So I think okay. we should still put the White Lotus Society because we can talk about this in um, with our. Yuan Dynasty here, I think that would be a good example to talk about how they fell, and that's that's that goes with governance. So um, also apparently I, the the Taiping Rebellion is also called the Red Turban Revolt. I didn't know that. Okay, so wait, Taiping Rebellion was which one? That was in that was, that was um, that's later, I mean, right? That in, yeah, that was eighteen. Okay, so that's in the modern. That was in the Qing era. Dynasty, okay. yeah. All right. It was like the Peasant Rebellion or whatever, and then it was like one of the most catastrophic, like, rebellions or whatever. And that was when they started doing the, what's it called again? Like, when they started reforming, um, when they started becoming more modern in China. It was like right after that, because they thought Confucianism failed. Oh, a self-strengthening movement. Yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Um, Red Form Red Turban Rebellion, uh, which took down Yuan... Right, and then back to Ming. Okay, that's in China. All right, now I think I think we so there were some other comparisons I added, like um, where is it? Like in two point six, more trade demand, cultural borrowing, diffusion, change in balance of powers, just some other stuff I found in my book, but nothing too big. Not, pretty much everything we talked about yesterday. After the. Typing Rebellion was the self-strengthening movement. So, like, you're right. I just want to tell you that. Okay. All right. Anyways. Okay. All right. So, I think Unit 3 unit we're pretty good with. Unit yeah. 3, I don't think we had a big problem with. I think we covered pretty much everything we could think of. Moving on to Unit 4, um, we are looking at um, technological innovation. So, pretty much everything that allowed them to go and travel, right? So, we're looking at... Uh, yeah. Technology from the classical Islamic and Asian worlds, and then we're looking at new tools, ship designs, new understanding of wind patterns. So, obviously, we're looking at the the Karak, the caravel, and the flute. Flute. I don't know how to spell that. Can, yeah, see. I think it's right. Okay, that's right. Yeah, okay. I think it looks right. Good. Um, and then, of course, we continued um, having our Chinese junk and our Arab pal, but those, I think. Those we can, we've already discussed in the previous unit. I think those were more important in Ming um, for Zheng He's voyages. I think when we're looking at Europe, we're more concerned about these three. Um, um, you can you can put that uh, the 
the carac the carrots were mostly used by the Portuguese and then and the, yeah, yeah and the caravels yeah. were the Spanish. Portuguese and, and Spaniards. So caravel is both Portuguese and Spaniards? Yeah. Okay. And then Floyd Floyds were Dutch. Dutch, yeah. Okay. And then Floyd was Dutch. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. And then I you're going to in the ah, I see. Yeah. I see. Uh, and then oh, okay, it says it says the purpose. Like the carrots and flutes were used for trade, and the caravels were used for long voyages. Okay. At great speed. Okay, so these were faster, um, and yeah. longer voyages. Long. Yeah. And then these were used for trade, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. gonna vacuum, so I. Yeah. So. Just, all right. That's fine. Sorry if it's gonna make a really loud noise. It's all good. Um. Okay. And then of course we have the Latin sails, the magnetic compass, the astronomical charts, and monsoon winds. Um. The stern rudder. Astrolabe. Astrolabe. The stern rudder. Stern rudder. Um. And these were uh, these were um, continuities from the previous era, right? Because we st yeah. these were already invented, but we're starting to use them in more um, in a greater um, yeah. astronomical charts. Yeah, yeah we put that there. in here. Uh, okay. This is cultural, so let me go to. There's that. also wait, is this in trade? Okay, wait, never mind. So this is cultural mainly, um, cultural and technological. So, okay, there's also telescopes. I don't know if you telescopes. Yes, yeah, I don't we know can. That, I don't know if you should put that here. Um, or... I don't think it'll help them. I don't think that, ha that would affect trade and travel. So maybe this is yeah, not really right. like a That's trade, right. like a travel thing. But like, um, they started using gunpowder. So like the pirates used it, um, to to like you know, pirate. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> to engage in piracy. Um, yeah, we can, I guess we can put that, um, we'll put that here, just as an extra thing. Uh, why can't, okay, there we go. Pirates used gunpowder. Wait, powder. are you looking in your book? Yeah, because I haven't studied this part that well. Alright, yeah, we can say that pilots, or pirates, pirates used gunpowder, <laughs> or we can, <laughs> pilots, pirates and, um, Travel uh, and other merchants use gunpowder in maritime trade for protection. Yeah. Okay. Um, moving on, causes and effects. New state-supported maritime exp uh, exploration. So we. I think we kind of go into them over here, but we can definitely write them down, just a list of all the different states. Um, we have basically all the European states, right? We definitely have uh, like Portugal, England, Spain. France, Netherlands. Portugal. Yeah, Portugal and Spain are the big ones, I think, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'll, hi I'll like bold them just so we know they're the big ones. We also have China, right? Um, yeah, because Junka. of Shanka. Yes. Um, anyone else? Um, nope, that's it. That's it? Okay, no, good. Yeah. Alright, and then... Portuguese development of maritime technology and navigational skills. Okay, resulted in the... Uh, this is a big... This is an important term. The Global Trading Post Empire. Um... Portuguese development. Okay, so Portugal, we have Prince. These are just some of the things that I entered in from his PowerPoints, I think. Somewhere, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Prince Henry the mm -hmm. Navigator, we have Vasco. He found the, he found the root. Um, wait, was Around that him? Or was that Rishi's Bartholomew? Trying to, Rishi's trying to join. Let me send him the link for the Skype real quick. That way he can contribute as well if he has some stuff. Um, Prince Henry the Navigator sponsored was the first European monarch to sponsor seafaring expeditions. He also had a school, I think, right? Um, what is like it Mr. Rash's PowerPoints? Let me just see if I can find it. 
So he was the first European monarch. He, you said he was the first European monarch to sponsor <laughs> voyages. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. And I think he also had a school. Could someone confirm that? Like he had a school of. We can search it up right now. In fact, let's just see. Is that Rishi? Hi, Rishi. Um. Okay. He, okay. My computer is being slow again, as usual. All right, I'll search it up on my phone. So, we're looking for... Oh my god, I do not. Prince Henry's school. Yeah, he started a school for oceanic navigation. Yeah, school of oceanic navigation. Yeah, I, I remember there was something like that. School of oceanic okay. navigation. Okay. Also, another person. Another person. I don't know if you put, but I just saw Bar Bartholomew Diaz. Bartholomew Diaz. I've heard of that one. Was he Portuguese? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He sailed around the southern. Wait, can you can you hear me? Yeah. We yeah. Can hear you. All right. Oh, the Cape of Good Hope. That was the yeah. other option. Who? Wait. So Bartholomew. Bartholomew Diaz. Yes. Did he look at what did what was his specific contribution? Oh, he was the Cape of Good Hope, right? Yeah. He like sailed around okay. the tip of Africa, yeah. Also, um, it's, it, instead of a U, it's a W, and instead of an S, it's a Z. So I searched it up on Google, and this is what I found. I think different people spell oh, it different okay. ways. Depending, I don't think okay. it matters. I think you can whatever. I yeah, think this okay, is probably the Portuguese fine. version, because you know how different languages spell things differently. That's probably it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, anyone else Portuguese we can think of? I think that's pretty much it. The big ones, mm -hmm. at least. Um, Spain, we had Christopher Columbus. Uh, uh, Spanish. Who was Amerigo Vespucci? He, um, America, he discovered the Americas, I think. Oh. Okay. He, I don't think he discovered the Americas, because that would have been Columbus, right? So yeah. what did he But he did, did it for Portuguese? Portuguese? Did he yes, make... I think he was did it for Portuguese. He, I think maybe he looked at... What did he do? That's a good question. He was an Italian merchant. Italian? But I think he did it for the Portuguese, though. That's why I put him under Portuguese. Oh. Yeah, there... Because he, he was born in Italy, he died in Spain. That, why is that Nassim's profile picture? We've had this conversation multiple times. Yeah, I don't remember. I remember. <laughs> Neha, if you joined the pre-cal calls, you would know. What pre-cal calls? Is that the chocolate mousse one? Yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> what? Wait, what? You know, the pre-cal the pre -cal calls that I do. That he did, like, during the school year? Yeah, during the school year. Like, before the oh. test. Oh, okay. I, I never joined in those. <laughs> yeah, they yes, no. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Vespucci did a voyage to Brazil in Portuguese service. Okay, so he's... He's basically, he discovered, I think, both the Americas together, um, and focus on Brazil, which is why por he, I, I put him under Portugal, because I think that he did the voyaging for Portugal. And I think many of these explorers actually did it for a variety of different countries. So for now, yeah. I think we'll stick to uh, Brazil, or we'll stick to Portugal here. Spain, mm -hmm. obviously, we have Christopher Columbus, um, funded by Ferdinand and Isabella, and then we have the, con the Conquistadors. Um, like the, oh, yeah. like Cortez and Pizarro. Um, I'll put their first names in case you want to put that in in there. Francis Hernan Cortez and Francisco. Francisco. Francisco Pizarro. Okay. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. All right. And then of course we have England, France, and Netherlands. I kind of grouped them together um, because. A because they because they are the ones who they're grouped together in the course description, but also because they kind of have the same purpose of looking for these alternative sailing routes. So they're looking for this northwest passage, and most of them ultimately settled in North America. So that's why I kind of grouped them together. So we have Henry mm -hmm. Hudson, James Cook, mm -hmm. um, oh, Samuel de Champlain, and Jacques Cartier. Um, we also had like Newfoundland in Canada. Just different, um, yeah, I, I, we don't really study them as much. I think putting their names down there and then just talking about the Northwest Passage, I think that should be sufficient to get you outside evidence. It, but 
So what I suggest doing, what I would at least do, is um, maybe mention the names of them and then introduce and connect, connect that to a more general idea like the Northwest Passage. Um, and then that way you're able to show a connection. I think that might be a, that that might be the best way to do it because you know simply mentioning their name probably won't be enough to get you that point. Can you add um, John Cabot? Yeah, John Cabot. Um, oh, that was there. All right. I always forget all these like English and French. And yeah, there's Dutch. so many. I I don't think there's a purpose. Like Henry Hudson, some of their you can use their names. Like Henry Hudson, we obviously know the Hudson River, New in New York, and that kind of thing, right? Yeah. Um. The the French ones were most likely ca Canada, right? Uh, yeah. So some of them, I we can kind of figure out. If you can't figure them out, yeah, at least you can put their name down if nothing else. Yeah. I think it's uh, it's good to at least have them there. All right. Yeah. yeah. So the ultimate goal here is to get to Asia because we're looking at and we're trying to get those spices. And the reason why we want those spices are because we realize from the Crusades that, you know, these spices are a pretty big deal. So the Crusades invigorate, reinvigorated that desire for Asian goods. And now we're looking for alternative routes because the Ottomans and the Venetians have control over Mediterranean and the Silk Road. So it's more it's more much more costly. So that's the reason why. All right, Colombian exchange. So Colombian exchange is obviously a big, big thing. Um, we know it's a big deal. We have a bunch of. This is an interesting term that they use: unintentional transfer of disease vectors. Um, they are vectors. They do have magnitude and direction. Um, <laughs> but I don't want to think about vectors. <laughs> vectors. <laughs> so we have Gosh. smallpox. Um, we have measles, we have malaria, um, we have, obviously they're spread with some of these animals using mosquitoes and rats. Um, we have certain crops and cast crops. Cast crops became a bigger deal because, you know, that shows how we eventually led to, that eventually led to the slavery and the civil war and that kind of thing and how we had these Atlantic revolutions. So these are important. So you could actually use this as contextualization, I think, if you're going to um, talk about slavery um, yeah, so then, of course, we have fruit trees, grains, sugar, and domesticated animals. We have African slaves. Um, we have nutritional benefits, right? So we are looking at, so when we're looking at domesticated animals, we're looking at horses, pigs, cattle, sheep. I'm sure there's more. We can list them out. Um, do you remember that huge diagram that we always look at? You know, the classic... <laughs> That classic um, Colombian exchange diagram. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's more. Um, oxen, um, okay. goats, mosquitoes. What Sorry, oxen what? Uh, goats. Oh, goats. Okay. Mosquitoes. I don't. Mosquitoes. Yeah, yeah, they don't, can just, they yeah we'll yet. just we'll just say that and, they spread the disease. So we'll and keep them chickens. there. And chickens. And chicken. Okay. Um, and then turkey was turkey was from. New World, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Anything else? Any other animals from the New World? No. Okay. All right. <laughs> Foods brought by Af African slaves, such as okra and rice. Um, that's important because we see that these are kind of staples in the South as well, in the American South. Um, and that's something, once again, we could use as contextualization if we wanted to. Diseases, we see smallpox, flu, typhus, measles, malaria, diphtheria. Um, whooping cough and syphilis, yes. And then plants to the old world from the new world. So we have tobacco, the cacao bean. We have sweet potato, cassava, and potato. And these were calorie rich, and these are the um, nutritionally benefit the benefits, yeah. right? Um, and then of course we have our gourd, gourded fruits such as squash, oh. pumpkin. And then we have quinine was brought from the new world to the old world. Wow, yes. I did not know that. Yes, 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 I did. yes, yes. Um, I did not know that. Wow. Can you're I right. we, we should put quinine over here. Quinine yeah. and whatever it is. Because we did see a document about that, so obviously it's, it must be relevant. Um, and then mm -hmm. plants to New World, such as coffee, sugar, and then we have our... So these are the... Our, I grouped these together because these are big in Mediterranean. I, I don't r r know if you guys remember from uh, last year. Um, do you guys remember from... 
AP Human Geography, we talked about Mediterranean agriculture. Um, so these are actually grown in California now because California's climate is suited for Mediterranean agriculture and stuff like that. And then, of <laughs> course, we have our roots like turnip and onion. All right. Anything else we want to add to this list? Um, technology, maybe? Sure. Alphabetic writing and firearms. So, tech from old to new? I think so. Okay. Alphabetic writing and firearms. Okay. Good. And then technology from, like, new to old was, like, rubber and quinine. I think... Oh, we could put Queen Anne here then, I guess, instead of... We can put it in both. That's fine. Okay. We can put it in both. Um, Anything else? I think that's pretty much it, really. That should give you enough to talk about. Do you want to add more foods? Yeah, we can. I mean, there's... Yeah, definitely. Okay, um, tomato... Honeybees. Tomato... Oh, yeah, honeybees. Honeybees, you're right. Honeybees were from from the new world or from the old world? The old world. Okay. From the old, from the old world, there was the honeybee, banana, okay. citrus. Okay. Give me fruits. just a sec. Plants to new world. So we had, sorry, you said banana, right? We put banana. Um, we put citrus. Um, citrus. Peach slash pear. Yep, we put that. Coffee bean, olive, sugar oh, cane. Oh, you said you said tomatoes, right? Tomatoes is new to. Oh, old. yeah, we put that here. Okay, good. Um, anything okay, else? I think, I think I think we put all of the old to new. So okay, new to old, um, avocado. Yep. Peppers. Peppers. Peanut. Okay, good. Oh, that's a big thing. So we have, um, so we have peppers, peanuts. Um, what else? Vanilla. Tomato. Tomato. Corn. Beans. 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 <laughs> Beans. <laughs> um, something else we need to put to the new world are chili peppers. Because remember the, the spiciest thing before the Colombian exchange yeah. were, was black peppers, and that kind of shook me. So I oh, think yeah. we can put that in here. That. Um, pumpkin. Pumpkin we put. Pineapple. Pineapple we put. Squash. Move on. Move on. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Moving on. Uh, maritime empires are established. So this is where we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of examples. Um, so state building. So this is governance, um, and we're looking at tra- new trading posts in Africa and in Asia, right? So this is part of that trading post empire that we were looking at with Portuguese. Um, we're looking at some Asian states also limit the disruptive con- economic and cultural effects of European dominated long distance trade by adopting. Okay, so we have isolationist trade policies um, such as Tokugawa Japan with the so Sakoku chain country uh, Ming China um, tried doing that we have remember because the scholar gentry ultimately outpowered the eunuchs right yeah so I'll mention that scholar gentry ultimately defeated eunuchs ending Jonko's thing but the admiral's name he ending yes. admiral's name Okay, um, largely by driven largely by political, religious, and economic rivalries. We have new maritime empires, um, which we've talked about. Then we have maritime trade networks, so growth of states, including the Ashanti and uh, Ashanti Kingdom and, and the Kingdom of the Congo. So these are new states in Africa. All right. All right. So we have these, and then we have our European trading posts, such as. Um, Goa, Hormuz, Calicut, Malacca, Macau, um, Angola, and Brazil from the Portuguese. The Dutch have the East Indies, which is Indonesia, Batavia, and Malacca. And then we have Cape Colony. And then we have the English, who are looking at Madras, um, Calcutta. I hate saying Calcutta because <laughs> I'm Bengali and we say Kolkata, and it's just weird saying Calcutta. Um, and then is it the we same as Calicut? Is that the same no, thing? No, Calicut and Calcutta are not the same thing. Calicut oh, okay. is a different, uh, different city. All right. Any other any other trading posts we can think of big cities? Um, oh, what about the Spanish? 
The Spanish silver trade, right? With Manila. Oh, yeah, part yeah. of a trading post? This was part of a trading post, right? We had Manila, yeah, we Manila. had um, Acapulco in Mexico, right? Um, Santo, Santo, were those the two big ones in Spain? In... Probably, I think so. Okay, so we had Manila and Acapulco for the silver trade. Any, uh, so I'll, I'll actually put silver trade in here so we remember. Um, oh, wait, are you... Um, um, are you going to put the British East India Company in the Dutch yeah. East India Company? I think the British. silver is out below, right? Silver like is below. For silver mining? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, But I think we'll put it here for the governance because we're looking at specific cities here. So we'll put it here, but we'll also mention it over here later. Um, and I think, yeah, a lot of these we mentioned multiple times. So like the British East India Company will come up later because they're we're looking at joint stock companies a little in a little bit later. So... We'll focus okay. on there. Um, I think that's pretty much it. We've talked about Spanish. We've talked about Dutch, French. Oh, we didn't talk about French. Um, what were the French cities? Quebec. Right. Isn't that it? Yes. But were, was that part of a trading ne trading post empire or trading? No. They just traded within. Huh? They just traded like within. I don't think they had. I like... think they did. I think because I know the French were prominent in this... Pondicherry, um, and in, in certain Indian this... cities like Pondicherry. Yeah, Pondicherry is one of them. Hyderabad is also one of them for England. For England, okay. Um, we can put Hyderabad in here. That's where I'm from. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, I didn't know that. French yeah. um, trading. What's fun? Oh my gosh. I'm, Why I'm is looking at this map. So low? I can't really find it. I'm from Madras. That's fun. French. French, French, French. Oh, I'm also seeing fur trading in North America. Um, what in North America? Uh, French. Or uh, fur trading. Oh, fur trading. Um, I think we talk about that a little bit later. Let's see. Fur. Another uh, one for... No, we don't. We can put it in Quebec here. Quebec was a trading post. In... Yeah, Quebec okay. In other s cities for Portuguese, um, Zanzibar and Mozambique. Okay, so we have... I'm oh, sorry. Zanzibar. So those Swahili Six. coasts, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then Mozambique. And then there was one more, I think you said? No, it was just... Okay, alright. Swahili Coast. Alright. We have Quebec for... Yeah, I think that was the big one. Yeah. Because when we're looking at Senegal and stuff, that's later. That's like during the Imperial um, era. So we'll focus on that later. Um, oh, Portugal is also Angola and Macau. I think we put Angola. Yeah, we put Angola and Macau. The Spanish is also there. Right. Uh, Veracruz, was that part of the Span it's the silver trade? Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Oh, right, it wasn't the city in Mexico or whatever, and then they did that whole thing. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Um, now, change in continuity over time, economics, so, okay. All right. So we're looking at some disruption and restructuring due to the arrival of them in the Indian Ocean. And they're introducing more trade, um, newly developed colonial economy. So we have the Incan Mita system. Um, using, so we're using mm -hmm. that labor system to essentially build our um, silver trade. We also have chattel slavery, um, which I never really got. So I'll have to search that up. I think chattel slavery is just like normal slavery, right? Yeah, it's like yeah. the time that was in um, yeah, America. Talking. Okay. All right. So, forced labor, of course, we have these. We have... Okay, Indian Ocean, Ocean Merchants. Anything else we need to put in here? This is what I think I got from the AP course description. Um, no, I don't see anything. Yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, that's fine. 
Um, I think because we're looking at disruption, I think we should mention um, that ultimately there was inflation from silver. I think this is a good area mm -hmm. to mention that. Um, okay. All right. And then, of course, we have... Should we also put the... Because it says forced forced labor. Actually, wait. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. All right. I was going to um, say maybe put serfs, but, like, I don't serfs, think... Serfs, yeah. Serfs, I think we're looking at, like... J we're just looking at the new yeah. world right now, so this might just... Okay, yeah, yeah. I think we're focusing on this right now. Okay. Um, and then social interactions and organization. We're looking at slavery in Africa with traditional slavery, export to the Mediterranean. So we're still looking at slavery in Africa and the slave trade, uh, the transatlantic slave trade and that kind of thing. But we're also looking at plantation economy um, in the Americas, which is important because we're looking at all these ch changes. Um, and an important detail is that the Caribbean had a majority slave population. Any other big details? Oh, I think um, this might be... We can put that this was important because Haiti, um, Haiti was able to gain independence yeah. because of this, right? Yeah, you can also put the, put like the Costa system here. Yes, 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 yes. That's very important here. Um, can we, do you remember the um, specifics, like the different levels? Okay. It was Peninsular, um, Creoles. Uh, let me find it. Oh, yeah. Pen okay. Creoles, Mestizos, Mulattoes. Okay, so Mestizos, so Peninsulares were directly from the Iberian Peninsula, meaning they were directly... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Creoles were... American born. In, yeah, so born they were American-born, but still... Um, but still, yeah, like, yeah. Europe, yeah. And then Mestizos were... Native, Native American. Native American. Native American. Native American. Yeah. So these were pure, pure, so mestizos were pure Native Americans or no, a mixture Native, of Native, Native American? Native European. Okay, so Native, uh, European. Native European, we have the mulattoes. Mulatto, African and European. African okay. And, and then, then we have the Indios, which are yeah. the Native. I think that's self-explanatory. Yeah. Then we have then the slaves. What were, they, what were the slaves called? The Africans called? I'm pretty Negros. sure it's Yeah. Huh? And then this, the Wasn't Negroes. Negro? Yeah. Oh, Negroes, yes. Negroes. And then um, the Zambos. And then the, what are they called? Zambos? Yeah, the African and Native. Yes. That's still, like, it amazes me in a bad, terrible way. Like, how in the world? It's like, you have... Yeah. You have, in, you have Native American, then you have African, and then you're... And then somehow... Their creation is even worse. Like, that just made no sense to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Costa system, good. I think we actually mentioned the Costa system later, but that's fine. This would be a good opportunity to introduce that. All right. Anything else? Um, do you want to mention, like the, like, the crops that were made in the plantation economy, like cotton and sugar and stuff sure, like sure, that? Sure, sure, sure. Um, plantation crops we have cotton sugar also um i think another thing we're going to end up doing we might want to at the end of these units just take the examples and put them down together at the very end because i know putting everything together might be a little convoluted so we'll have both once we're done with all of this we'll put just the examples at the very bottom of each unit um that might help as well anyways so we have plantation crops anything else we want to mention here Oh wait, do we men do we mention mercantilism like later? Mercantilism, that's a good question. Let's search it up. Merc. Yeah, we do. I, I remember. Yes, merc that. mercantilist policies okay. come later. Yep. All okay, right. Yeah, was like Perfect. Good. Uh, moving on, and here we go. Mer <laughs> mercantilism. So mercantilist policies and practices. Um, we have joint stock companies. Um which were influenced by these mercantilist principles uh, and then used to compete. We had economic disputes. Um, the word that Mr. Rash uses a lot is the, the positive feedback loop. Yeah, Mr. Rash's favorite phrase. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Also, but no, seriously though, put... I've thrown that word and I've thrown that phrase in there in my essay so many times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For the Dutch East India Company, you can also put that like it eventually went bankrupt. Okay. In... Bankrupt. Do you know why they eventually went bankrupt? Um. I don't know. That's okay. All right, let, we can search it up um, real quick. Let's see. What, what was the question? Um, why did the Dutch in- East India Company go bankrupt? Oh, okay. I don't know either. Dutch East India Company. It decreased, like, the, it decreased trading with Japan and the loss of the silk trade with China. Okay. Okay. Um, because of loss of silk trade with China and um, stopping trade with Japan. Okay. Oh, because remember there was Dutch learning, right? In Japan, I guess that must oh, have yeah, stopped, yeah, yeah. right? Oh yeah, so, yeah. Okay. So maybe that would be relate back to Dutch learning. Um, okay. Okay, um, and then of course we have our British East India Company, um, and yeah, then we have we have government granted monopolies, corporations, and then competition. We're looking at Muslim European rivalry in the Indian Ocean, um, and then we have the Moroccan conflict with the Songhai Empire. That's not something we talked a lot about. Uh, we can search it up again just to get some more information about it, just to get familiar with it at least. Um, so Morocco. You can also put it's also like, the London rivalry. Rivalry. Sorry, what? The London Revolution? The London Company. Was London Company, is that the same as the British East India Company? I don't know. It says that the London Company established Jamestown Colony. I don't know if that's the same. Oh, okay, okay. Um, okay, yeah. We can put that in here. Uh, I don't... You I don't know if that's the joint stock company. Okay, yeah, that's fine established Jamestown. The, we, we learned about some of this stuff in U.S. history in 8th grade. Um, yeah. Also for the, you can, for the Muslim European rivalry, you could put also in the Mediterranean. Um, yes. In Indian Ocean and Mediterranean trade. Okay. Moroccan conflict with the Songhai Empire. I searched it up and I found something about the Battle of Tondibi. Um, yeah. Yeah. And basically, oh, right here. Twenty B, and apparently this led to um, the defeat of Songhai. Yeah, and the Spanish and Portuguese took over this territory. Empire. Which is why we have the Moroccan, the Spanish and Moroccan influence in, or Spanish influence in Morocco, right? Yeah. Maybe Spanish and Portuguese took over. Okay. Good. Um, now we're looking at the Atlantic trading system, and that involved the movements of good, goods, wealth, and labor, including slaves, and the new global circulation of goods was facilitated by chartered European monopoly companies and the global flow of silver uh, from Spanish colonies to the Americas, which was used to purchase Asian goods for the Atlantic market to satisfy Chinese demand for silver. Regional markets continue to flourish in Afro-Eurasia by using established commercial practices and new transoceanic and regional shipping services developed by European merchants. And finally, peasant and artisan labor. Um, that's an important thing, so I'll bold that. Uh, continued and intensified in many regions. Okay. Um, so silver, chartered European monopoly, and then um, Chinese demand for silver. I think these are the big ideas here. Yeah. Okay. So we have Western Europe. We have the wool and linen, the cottage industry, which shifted to textile production during industrialization. But originally we had um, artisan at home wool and linen. In India, we had cotton. China, we had silk. You um, can also put the surf thing here, then, if you want to. Yes. So, serfdom. Where else yeah. was serfdom practiced? Uh, Russia. 
Okay, serfdom oh. in Russia. Um, where else? I thought that that increased Just... peanut in artisan labor, and I was really confused. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's also, it also, it just says Europe and Asia, so it doesn't okay, really say. Okay, sure, sure, sure. So, Russia, Europe, um, wait, surf, serfdom in Europe declined though, right? Because of the Hundred Years' War? Yeah. So, we'll say serfdom in Russia, um. I think that's just the big one, so. Yeah, okay. I think, yeah. Okay, one thing I should, I'm gonna go back. I've noticed this term. Um, with the Indios, we see there's a specific term called the Rep Republica um, de Indios. Um, oh, that was yeah, on the that. that was on the and I was really mad about it because it was like a really tiny. There was like less than a slide on it, and I got really mad. At it. <laughs> um. Okay, did we talk about the Ottoman millet system yet? No. I don't think we did. Oh, we'll get to it, but something, before I forget, I'm going to add it in here. Millet system in Ottoman Empire, um, and in my book they are mentioning something called, um, where was it? I just saw it. Oh, the Mudara policy, which is a moderation policy. So the the millet system was just like different things for each like religious group. Yeah, right? so there were different like minorities. Different so yeah, so moderating okay. these different minorities. So a lot okay, of them yeah, kind of practice on their own. Um, okay, sorry. Going back, I know I jumped around for a little bit, but I would have forgotten that. So that's the only reason. Um, served them in Russia. Silver trade. We obviously have um, Potosi, Acapulco, and Manila, and then we have inflation in Spain and China because of the silver, this global silver trade. We have Japanese mines, right? And Jap Japan is also kind of looking towards the silver trade. Mm -hmm. um, anything else we want to put here, or are we good to move on? Uh, I think we're good. All right. Perfect. Actually, what is this Hudson's Bay Company? It's in my Barron's book. That's a. It's an example of a. Um, a big. The big silver mine in Japan was the Iwami Ginzan, right? Huh? The big silver mine in Japan was the Iwami Ginzan, right? Oh, MG. It was the fur trading business in Canada. Okay. Sorry. L let's address Neha's thing first. So how do you spell that? I think it's I-W-A-M-I -I and then uh, G-I-N-Z-A-N. Is that right? Man, do you just remember that? <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Let's see. I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. I, I think I remember that being on the PowerPoint once. I don't remember if, the exact if I think there was something about that on the PowerPoint, but I have no I, I, I have, have no, no idea. I do not remember that. Yeah, it is Iwami Jinzan. It's um it was a historic silver mine. She's right. <laughs> Alright. So Hudson Bay Iwami Company had to do Jinzan. with the Okay. So Hudson Bay Company had to do with the fur trade. And then... I can't then, believe Neha that. It's so funny to me. Yes, Neha. I, I can't, I can't just remember these. <laughs> <laughs> um, silver inflation, we've talked about that. Carpet, okay, silver. Uh, do you want to put fur trade in oh. Canada? Or? Yeah, fur trade in Canada, we can put that. Fur trade. In Canada, there's one more rivalry that we didn't put up, and that is the... Oh, it is the Muslim Euro European rivalry, but it's specifically it's Omani European rivalry. Um, okay, good. Um, piracy, we talked about, we mentioned piracy in there. Um, resource destruction, good. I think we've covered everything here. Yeah. Alright, mm -hmm. continuing on. Some notable gender and family restructuring occurred, including demographic changes. So, um, slaves were mostly men, and as a result, women assumed more of the traditional roles that men had. We had polygyny and temporary marriages, um, and we had this movement of labor, 
mixing of cultures, cultural synthesis. All right, anything else we want to put here? Um, you could put that they were, like, the slaves were from, like, the lower, like, parts of society in Africa. Like, okay. that were captured. And then from lower social status in Africa. Yeah, here's where I would also, like, mention the castle system, probably. Mixing up African This is talking about Africa. I think this is talking about Africa in particular, so... Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think this is talking more about, like, the, specifically Africa and the Atlantic trading system in particular. Um, so, oh, yeah, I think we'll... Thing. Go ahead. Another thing is, like, you could put how, like, slaves in the Americas were different from, like, slaves captured in the Indian Ocean. I don't know if you'd put that here, but... That's just we can put that. Thing. We can put that here. How were they... So, slaves... Because um, the slaves in the Indian Ocean had like some rights, and and they could like work to like become freer. Okay, and had potential to earn freedom. And then slaves versus in America slavery obviously. in America was forced uh, was chattel slavery, I guess, or. We'll just say it was um, was coerced. Well, it, I, both were coerced. Um, was how should we describe this? Erica was. I think chattel should be fun. Okay, okay. I think we have. Yeah, I think we get the idea there. Okay, so then we had um, new new religions and syncretic religions. So we have Voodoo in Haiti, Candomblé in Brazil. And then there was the DBQ that was released by the College Board um, that talked about we had what was it like the version of Guadalupe or something? Oh yeah, yeah, in Mexico. Guadalupe in Mexico. So Jesus, uh, so Christianity with mm -hmm. Christianity and native native religions. Oh, I remember that was by Father Hidalgo. I remember that. Okay. All right. Okay, and then there was also the. Santeria in what Cuba. Is that? Santeria? Santer oh. No, no, no. Like that? It's like Sante, like. Like that? And then, and then R I A. Is it the one word? It's one word, yeah. It's one oh, word. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that's in Cuba? Yeah. Okay, so what was the Santeria? I don't know what that is. It was like a mix of Africa. African faith. Okay. With, okay. Okay. Oh, and yeah. there was also that one in Brazil, right? That they used in the DBQ. Do you remember? Um. Uh, maybe? Brazilian saint. Uh, Brazilian. African saint holding baby. Jesus. There was that image that they used in that. Um, <laughs> It's a really interesting thing. Hold on. Look. Hold on. It's not this one. Let I me... don't remember. I don't remember this. Maybe it was... Yo, hold on. I'll, I'll pull up the document. I, I remember. I could have sworn there was an image that had that. Do you mean like Hispanic Virgin Mary? Well, yeah. That was the Virgin Lady of Guadalupe. Guadalupe. But, uh, but we also have... There was an, also a... There was a... It showed that in Brazil, the African cultures syncretized with um, Christianity. So, I, here, let me pull it up on my oh, phone. Oh, is it, it the easy. Last Supper? Is that what it was? No. Oh. I'm opening it up. Just give me a sec. I have it in here. <laughs> no, it was funny because she was like, oh my god, that was funny. <laughs> You know what, I'm just opening, I'm just going to open it up on my phone, because this is taking too long. Everybody in the house um, is talking so loudly. Hey guys, how's your day? How has your day? How? <laughs> I'm saying, speak English. My day's been good. It's been going for like one hour, so. Okay, I don't know if you guys can you guys see it on my phone. Let me show show it to you on my phone. You can see it. Do you guys remember this image at all? 
Uh, hold up, let me switch. Like your screen or whatever. Ah, how do we do that? Your screen is um, very tiny. Because you're sharing your screen, so we can't really like see it. Because we have to like switch it or whatever, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, and she's muted himself. Wait, is today your birthday, Navia? It is. <gasps> Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Thank you. Happy birthday! I thought my that mic just, was on like, and it wasn't. Okay. That just randomly came into my mind just now. <laughs> I was thinking about how tomorrow's Chica's birthday, and then I was like, "Oh my gosh, wait!" Okay, wait. What is MG doing? No one ever knows. Oh my God, wait, I can mute other people? Oh, I was muted. That's why. I'm like, I was I was speaking words. I'm like, why is no one listening? Oh, no. Wait, all right, yeah. ready? No, yeah, we're going to sing her happy birthday. Okay? No, we're oh. not. One. No, we're not. No, we're not? No, okay, all right, never no, mind. No, we're not. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> never mind, then. It goes very okay. poorly. <laughs> all right, well, forget about that. Okay, moving on. Um... <laughs> Internal and external changes to state power. Did you guys hear what I said about St. Benedict of Palermo? No. 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 We didn't that was that. the problem. <laughs> That's why I'm like, I'm saying stuff and no one's doing anything. Um, no, so this was, uh, yeah, this was from the document, St. Benedict of Palermo, and he, this was African ancestry mixed with Christianity in Brazil. So that was the big idea there. Oh, okay. All right. So that's good. Moving on, we have internal and external challenges to state power. We have some revolts and we have slave resistance. So we have the Pueblo revolts. We have um, Fronde. I have no idea what that is. So we are going to search that up. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. Fronde. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Thanks, Sam. It, it was, was in France, like apparently. France. What did, what is Nassim doing? My speaker stopped working. Rip. Okay. So it was civil wars in France, um, which was, I guess it was against the, what? What was it against? I'm sorry. Wait, wait, say that again? The Fronde. The Fronde yeah. was where they were a set of civil wars in um, France. Mm-hmm. And... It was against the uh, Marazine, Cardinal Maraz uh, Mazarin. I don't know who that is. Then it just said the nobility was threatened because okay. the parliament parliament wanted to limit King Louis. Okay, nobility was threatened. All right. Then of course we have the Cossack revolts in Russia. We yeah, because the, they wanted the Pueblo. The yeah. They and wanted the Pueblo revolts in our America, right? Yeah. This they wanted separation from the Tsar. Okay, um, and then we have the Maratha conflict with the Mughals, so this is in um, mm -hmm. Mumbai. Mm -hmm. um, then we have Anna Nzinga's resistance, and she was the ruler of these African states, um, and she resisted mm -hmm. something. I guess she's resisting the trade, something. the slave trade. Anna? Wait, is Anna, Anna? here? Annie? No. <laughs> oh. Anna was church class. Ah. Uh. Oh, I'm finding this all in my book. What a fun time. Oh, for the coast. Oh, you can also put Pugachev's Rebellion here. Which rebellion? Pugachev's Rebellion in Russia. Oh, Pugachev. Yes, yes, yes. Um... It, like, it caused Catherine the Great to, like, increase the oppression of peasants. peasants. So... 
What? Kubachev. Did you say cousins? Oh, Kovac. I said peasants. Oh, peasants? peasants. I thought you said cousins. <laughs> I yeah. heard that How too. How did it make any sense? He said peanuts. The seems sometimes I don't understand what's going on. Did you just mute me? <laughs> I did not mute anyone. I did. I <laughs> mute. I just wanted to see if it would work. You so, mute so. people? Yeah, you can mute anybody. What the heck? That's so this? weird. No, she, that's... You see how she muted you? Not anyone else. She muted you. <laughs> Who else would she mute? I think Alina's trying to tell <laughs> us something. <laughs> Wait. So, sorry. What was the what was the effect of what was the effect of um, Pugachev's rebellion? It's um, Catherine the Great like um, like increased her oppression of peasants and like supported the nobles. Declared end of serfdom, but Catherine the Great ended oppression of serfs. No, no, increased. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. And then she, and then, <laughs> and then she and supported. Um, she supported the nobles. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Anna Nzinga's resistance. She was trying to. What was she? So she was. Um, so this is in um, relation to the Portuguese. Okay. Yes. Yes. So this was during the Af- African slave trade, as we suspected. So resistance in African. Oh, but she came in. She became an ally of, the Port- of Portugal. As Portuguese, but ultimately became ally. Ultimately allied the Portuguese. Allied with the Portuguese, I should say. Okay. And then, of course, we have Medicom's War, which is King Philip's War in the Americas, which we've learned about in U.S. history. Um, we also have slave resistance, um, such as the Maroon Societies in the Caribbean and Brazil, which I have no idea about, so I will search that up. Um... Maroon societies in Caribbean and Brazil. Okay. These were self-liberated slaves. Okay. Um, in plantations. Yes. There was also more rebellions in England, if you want to put all of them. Yes, please. Cool. We should. We, yeah, we should try to put okay. every single one we can here. The Gloucester County Rebellion. I think that's Gloucester. That's how they pronounce it. Or is that, would that go? Okay. Would, would that be? Would that be under slave resistance, or would that be under local resistance? It was. It wasn't. Yeah, it was a slave rebellion. Oh, that was slave rebellion. Okay. So, this yeah. is Gloucester. Sorry. I, I can't. Oh, there we go. Gloucester, and then what? What? What happened in the Gloucester rebellion? It was where enslaved Africans and white indentured servants wanted to wanted freedom. And white indentured servants fought or revolt. Uh, we will just say revolted. And then there was um, the Glorious Revolution. Glorious Revolution. That was in China, right? No, no, it was in England. England. I'm still in England. England. Oh, sorry, wrong. I'm like in the wrong world. Okay. Um, so Glorious Revolution, is that slave resistance or is that local resistance? It's local resistance. Okay. It strengthened the power of parliament. Glorious Revolution strengthened power of parliament. Okay. I know it's parliament. I just pronounced it. Yeah, that's how I always spell it. Yeah, I know. I spell because otherwise I forget to put the I when I spell it. Yeah, me too. Um... (laughs) Okay. Yeah, that's. I think that's it. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> what about what about Li Zisheng's peasant revolt and the fall of China's Ming Dynasty? Oh yeah, that's probably okay. important. Um, does that go here under slave resistance? Cause they're peasants, so I mean, I, I mean, guess they're not really um, slaves, though. Yeah, they're not really slaves. You're right. We'll put them here. Li Zisheng's Peasant revolt. Wait, so was that the end? That was the end of the Ming Dynasty? Yes. Wait, where is that? That is. It's not in the PowerPoint. It's in uh, my bear. I think it is. It's not, I'm checking the PowerPoint right now. Oh, 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 I see, I see. 
It's in my very book, the, yeah. Yeah, I found it, I found it. It's, in the, it's on the next slide. Because it said the Manchu supported the rebellion of Li Zisheng. Okay. Um, also, my dad is talking really loudly. So, like, just... It's okay, it's all that. good. No worries. Okay, yeah, um, see, it, does, it doesn't stop after one hour. So, because you're still recording. That's good. Yeah, maybe yesterday, I think what happened, I just might have just accidentally stopped it or something, or some someone else might have, who knows, something must have happened. No, no oh my gosh, I need can to stop worry about it now. Recording. That is, why do they let me do that? <laughs> what? What? Like, I can stop the recording. Why can anybody just yeah, stop I don't, I don't, recording? That's so dumb. I don't know why there's so much, so much control in this. I think Skype is meant to be more for, like, you know, like... Group, like small group meetings. I don't think it's meant for like large, like it's meant for like small corporate yeah. meetings. Maybe I don't know. Maybe that was that's the purpose. So maybe they're okay with people. But it that. was like Zoom. Like it was like meant for like the same purpose as Zoom when it was like first a thing. So like they sh why do they have such weird features? Okay. Anyways, let's just keep going. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we haven't even we haven't even finished unit four. Yeah, this is it, it's it, we're almost done. It's okay. We yeah. knew these are gonna this take time. Really As we go further and further in history, we get more and more specific, like much more. So we know it's yeah. gonna get worse. Um, what about oh there's God. there's something else that I found that called the cult of saints in Latin America. Um, That's kind of um, and there's also something called the. Uh, the Florentine Codex and the Mesoamerican co uh, Codices. Oh no, Rishi Dash left. Rishi Dash left. <laughs> Look in the chat. Um, did we talk about, were there anything about cultural impacts like um, Kabuki theater and that kind of thing? We haven't talked oh, about that. Oh, we did haiku. And then haiku, the yeah, yeah. Okay, Yukio, if that doesn't, whatever. if we don't get that, yeah, Okioye. If we, if we don't get there, then we will add that in somewhere. Okay. But in the meantime, let's la do this last one before we get to the last one, the absolute last one. Um, we're looking at Mughal and Ottoman empires um, who are trying to um, be tolerant. So an example of that I can think of right off the bat is Akbar, right? Akbar's yeah. um, toleration. He married um, a Hindu. His wife was Hindu, right? Or something? Yeah, a Hindu okay. princess. Hindu princess. Like okay. Um... All right, in full empire. Okay, um, and then in other cases, states suppress diversity. Okay, good. Imperial conquest, we have mm -hmm. transition Wait, to Qing so, dynasty. So is this part also talking about like, like discrimination too? Like, or is it just talking about tolerance? Yeah, I think it's both. I think it's both, okay. yeah. You could put like a, a wrong Seb's like thing. About how he wasn't religiously tolerant. Zeb's thing. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't know how to like. Orang Zeb's lack of religious the... tolerance in a Mughal Empire. Yeah. No, you should just put Orang then... Zeb's thing. <laughs> That's what you should say. And you can also put the Jizya, like, yes. in the Ottoman Empire. Jizya and... for, um, for non believers. Mm -hmm. um, was there the Jizya on the. Um, on the Timmies, or no? Who were non-Arab? Was Muslims? there toleration no, for Timmies, or did everyone have to no, pay? No, no. I think it's I think it's jizya for Dimmies, and they just didn't like. Um, they it didn't said like they paid a, they, Christian and Jews. It said like they paid a tax called a jizya that was required of all non-Muslims in the empire. Okay, so non-believers and Timmies. In Ottoman Empire. Okay, and okay, then yeah. we have, of course, we talked about. We can actually re just copy and paste the stuff about the Costa system here. Uh, Costa system. Oh my God. system. Where did we talk about that? Oh, right here. We will copy and paste that here because here is where it kind of becomes important. Wait. So for the, I have a question. So for for the. Dimmies the same? Were, wait, were they just non-Muslims? Oh, the Dimmies. Dimmies are people of the book, so that means um, that means like 
a- the the Abrahamic religions, but just not Muslims. So Christians. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I I, okay. I was confused about that for the longest time. What is going on with PowerPoint? Or I mean Word. Word is being weird right now. Okay. Whatever. I don't care. Screw formatting right now. <laughs> All right. Moving on. No, nope, I mean not moving on because this is gonna bug me. What is going on? <laughs> That's so strange. There, whatever. Okay. Okay, what were the Timars? I don't remember what the Ottoman Timars were. I looked it up and it just said they were like elites. Nobles? And they were just called well, elites. Okay. Yeah. All right. Whatever. Wait, is it Great. Timars or Timors? Timor was Tamerlane. Remember? Oh, yeah. that's the name. Okay. I don't yeah, remember. that's his name. Yeah. Um, okay. And then, of course, we have the Casta system. Um, transition to Qing Dynasty. So as we transition Timors to the Qing Dynasty. Timors were also landowners. The Timors were landowners. Oh my god, my voice. Sorry, <clears throat> were landowners? The Timors. Oh, the Timors were landowners. Okay. Yeah. Land-owning elites. Okay. Um, the, in the Qing Dynasty, obviously, the Manchus were... Um, Manchus ruled. And mm-hmm. did they have a social hierarchy that, that we need to mention here? No. I think there wasn't a social hierarchy. They just, like, were... Oh, intermarriage like, was socially unacceptable. So, yeah. They just wanted to remain, like, separate. But there was no, like, laws or whatever. Because that social hierarchy was during the Yuan Dynasty. That's, like, yes, why yes, yes. Good. Um, anything else we need to put in here? Let's see. I think we need to go back to culture and add some stuff about culture, because I don't think we've talked about culture that much. Right? What would you guys say? Um... Wait, go back where? To, to culture, like, adding the stuff about the woodblock printing and all that. Because I don't oh, think we mentioned okay. that at all anywhere in here. Maybe it's just because they mm-hmm. didn't talk about it as much in the course description, but I think we need to go back and enter them. Um, let's mm-hmm. see. So maybe they would actually go here. Um, cultural developments, belief systems. Maybe it's because they only mentioned belief systems. Centralized, okay. Commercial revolution. Where would it go? That, I think that's the biggest question because it doesn't look like it would go here because this is to consolidate power. Doesn't look like it would go here because this is belief systems, and I should probably put a page break there just to make it clearer. Um, maybe we should just put it under comparison, because we can compare how there's new, uh, new art, new developments in literature and art, such as. So what can we put here? Oh, this we we could put like Shakespeare here. And, Shakespeare, um, and Don, Don Quixote. Yeah, oh, no, Miguel Cervantes. That was the author. Yeah. If you want to write that. And then we had Kiyo. Yeah. And Yo. then Kabuki and Haiku. Printing, uh, Haiku Poetry, Kabuki Theater. Um, we had... We also had, um, what's it called? Uh, in China. Oh, the Yongle, Yongle um, Encyclopedia, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, anything else? Mm-mm, nothing I can think of. I'm looking at my Baron's book, and it looks like we're covering pretty much everything in here for now. At yeah. Least. Okay, what were the Salali revolts? That's something I didn't see. Salali? C E L A L I. Salali. Or Kalali. I don't know. C E L L A I? C E L A L I. C E L A L I. Salali rebellions. They were Turkish rebellions in Anatolia. Okay. Kalali revolt. Against the Ottoman Empire. So, against Ottomans? Yeah. Turkish revolts against Ottoman Empire. Um, and then we also have the Ottoman Siege of Vienna. Yeah. Vienna. 
Um, I, th I don't think that would go with this one, though, because this has to do with revolts. Maybe we should put that with governance somewhere. And that can actually go further up here when we talk about the Ottomans. Ottoman, 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 Ottoman. Ottomans, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great uh, performance. Thank you. Yeah, we love that. Local performance. Ottoman sea shop. Oh, wait, the, 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 uh, the Ottomans didn't, like, seize it, right? Because they lost? Wait, they lost? Yeah, that's they... What, no, they lost. Okay. All right. Then, failed, I'll write failed Ottoman siege of Vienna. It, it says it's the beginning of the decline of the Ottoman Empire. Okay. Like, their defeat here. Led to their defeat. Okay, good. Um, we talked about... Did we talk about the shoguns? I don't think we talked... Did No, we did, yeah, somewhere. we here. did. We talked about yes, it Tokugawa yesterday. Shogun. Yes, you're right. Um, Tokugawa, uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, we've talked about that. We've talked about that. The Sunni Shia split. Um, let me go back to culture and make sure we've covered everything for culture. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then gunpowder we've mentioned. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much good. Oh, did we talk about zamindars? Yes, we talked about that yesterday. Yeah, we did. We talked about that yesterday. I mentioned, I mentioned the Bengali word for zamindar. Okay. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Little things, insignificant things sometimes help us remember important things. That's so weird. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we're good. Let's move on. <sighs> okay. Are we on 4.8, the last one? All right. Um, uh, let me move on to Unit 3 in my Baron's Close. book. Alright, now we're going to mod modernization, essentially, right? Because this is the modern era. Don't Isn't there the last one, the 4.8, right? Oh yeah, Th that's talking about changes in continuities. That would be good for us to just think about real quick. Um, yes, so we need to think about changes and continuities. Um and how they affected social structures over time. So something that we see is that women had more power over time, right? Um, yeah. So while, while patriarchy, patriarchy persisted, women um, are gaining some uh, power in terms of increased societal roles, um, another, another change would be like the would be going from mercantilism to like the end of this era to capitalism. Okay. Um, all right. What else? And then, yeah, I think that's about it here. I mean, we can we can talk about more. I'm sure there's more, but for now, I think that might be enough. Do we want to talk about more, or is that good? No, we don't. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll put religious conflict here, because that was a big theme here. Um, mm -hmm. All right. Good. Moving on. Okay. Finally, Atlantic Revolutions. Wait, can you guys still hear me? I think I might have done something weird with my mic. No, you're good. Still here. Okay, all right. Good. So, Industrial Revolution... Wait, actually, we got to talk about Atlantic Revolutions first. So we're looking mm -hmm. at um, the, uh, the yeah, Enlightenment. Do you mean the ones in like the Americas? Yes. Yeah. And as well like, as fr yeah. France, right? Because Atlantic refers yeah, to... Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So Enla Enlightenment philosophies, looking at the natural world. Um, so we're looking at empirical approaches. We're looking at natural. Um, we're looking at human relationships. We're looking at religion. And we're looking at reason. And then we're looking at philosophers, individual natural rights, and then the social contract. These are all important terms I would hold. Um, the rise and diffusion of enlightenment thought questioned established traditions that um, gave the mindset and the philosophy for re rebellions and revolutions. And then, of course, we have nationalism. Okay. 
So we're looking at John Locke, Adam Smith, Voltaire, Rousseau. There's another uh, one that was Baron Montesquieu. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Wait, who was he again? His name is so familiar. Montesquieu. He, um, he did the checks and balances. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, like, the separation of power. Okay. Um, also, you could put deism as, like... Yep. Another. Put that in there. Oh, you're yes. uh, okay, yeah. yeah. Good. Um, Deism is such a vague philosophy. It's just like, yeah, something's there. Yeah. Okay. Something's there, yeah. Okay, other philosophies that had to do with enlightenment were um, we kind of touched on this in um, English a little bit romanticism um, and um, realism and modernism. Um, and. We are seeing conservatism. Oh, yeah, oh, feminism. Feminism comes like over with... here in the next one. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Um, oh, we're looking uh, at abo um, is abolitionism ahead. later. Abolitionism. No, we should put that in here. We're looking at abolitionism. Actually, we'll mention fem feminism in here. I. Oh, you I, could also put Thomas Paine as someone else. Thomas Paine, sure. Um, and what did he talk about? He talked about he had the common sense, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that oh, from God. Hamilton for some reason. <laughs> Abolitionism, oh, feminism, conservatism versus liberalism. Mm -hmm. All the isms. That that's the big idea Cap of this. Era. Capitalism versus socialism. Capitalism versus socialism. Um, social Darwin. So, and then we look at social. nationalism. We'll talk about more in, in more depth later, but we'll introduce it here. Nationalism mm -hmm. with social Darwinism, um, mm -hmm. right? And then, essentially, what we're seeing is the secu the secularization of culture, and uh, yeah, and in in my book it says the Western crisis of faith. I feel like that's oh, very that's... strong. That's yeah, so it's a intense. very, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. It's kind of All funny, right. Actually. Anything else we want to put here? Um, I think that's good here. Yeah, that's good. There's oh, a lot of one more thing: so. rising literacy rates because of um, this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Good. Moving on, we see how it affected reform movements with the expansion of rights, suffrage, abolition of slavery. So I'll put bold suffrage, abolition of slavery, and then the end of serfdom. And then we have women's suffrage and feminism uh, with Seneca Falls. We have uh, Declaration of Rights of Women and the Female Citizen. We have um, Wollstonecraft's Vindication on the Rights of Women, which we've read. I'm sure you've read excerpts from before. Um, Anything else we want to put in here? Um, no, I think that's... Uh, I mean, if you want to put people, you could put, like, Elizabeth, Katie, oh, yeah. Stanton... Oh, we, I think we put, put her here. Oh, okay. Uh, that's fine. Uh, what am I doing? Okay. All right, we're good. Um, yeah, that's no, we also have National Liberation Impulses. What? That's what my book says. <laughs> National liber uh, liberation impulses. Um, well, yeah, it's like you want to have a yeah. revolution, right? Yeah. So we'll talk about them again. We'll it's talk such about such a them weird later. way to say it. It is such a weird way to say it. We have Jose Marti. I don't know impulses. who that is. I have an impulse to liberate. In control. Also, okay. there's another ism, Zionism. Zionism, okay. Oh, that's Zion. like uh, Jewish, right? Yeah, it's Jewish. That's the desire to... to reclaim the promised land, right? Um, yeah, and it the increased holy lands. the holy lands. How many holy lands? Why do we have so many? <laughs> We're actually, we have too little because they all share holy lands. Jose Martí. Yeah, just... We have the Indian National Congress. And then we also have. Um, we also have. Indian is wrong. I don't know. Maybe it thinks it's in another language. Yeah, because I put Indiana. Jose Marti, so it's thinking that it's 
Yeah, it's in another language. Anyways, Filipino, Filipino, Katipunan. I don't know what that is, but Congress is not a word. <laughs> the first thing that she says in 15 minutes. <laughs> I went to the bathroom when I came back, but the first 10 minutes I was just like not doing anything. <laughs> okay, so the Katipunan was a secret society um, founded by and and. Andres Bonifacio. Are we in Unit 5? Yes, yeah, we are in Unit 5. 5. 5. Oh, sorry. I've, I was doing some homework and I ate lunch. Yeah, essentially what? these were um, Filipinos who were interested in... Um, yeah, I think we got the idea. Because they were against the Spanish, right? Against... Which unit are we on? Unit 5. I mean, no, I mean not on unit, Rev sorry. I, I meant the topic. Oh, topic? Oh, we're yeah. on topic 5.1. We're on enlightenment okay, and how okay. it led to these impulses. Okay. Um, and then we can I okay, actually open I'm up my be, PowerPoint. I'll be back. I have okay. to go for a second, but I'll be back. Uh, all right. Moving on. Now we have nationalism and revolution. So this is a big deal. Um, obviously, we're looking at... Okay, let me open my PowerPoint. That way okay. I can refer to if need be. Liberté, uh, égalité, et fraternité. I know that's very wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, if it was Latin, it actually, I mean, it's the way you were pronouncing it, it kind of sounds like Latin. But, you know, Latin has different endings. It's liberté, égalité, et fraternité. Okay. I'm yeah. not going right. to say that. Sorry, I just had to, I, I, I had to say that. It's a, it's a, what's it called? It's a national liberation impulse to say that. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Um, yeah, you should liberate France. <laughs> yes, I have to liberate France. Okay. New sense of commonality. Um, so this commonality, um, we learned this was a um, centrifugal force. No, sorry, centripetal force, um, which we learned about last year in AP Human Geography. Um, Do, doesn't, isn't, okay, centripetal, centripetal put, pulls it together, right? Yes, because they, they're, okay. Well, yeah, and then centrifugal is what happens in the centrifuge where we're separating and we're forcing away. Yes, okay. Um, intense period of revolution rebellion, um, discontent with monarchist and imperial rule, uh, and courage to develop no systems. Okay, so now we're looking at liberalism is the big idea here, and democracy. Um, now we're looking at rebellions in inspired by um, democratic ideals. We're looking at the American Revolution, the United States of America establishment of a republic and it modeled and it served as an inspiration for others we're looking at the haitian revolution we're looking at latin american independence movements um so we have a lot of examples here to talk about um and then we mm -hmm. have the american declaration of independence during the american revolution the french declaration of rights of man and of the citizen and then Bol bolivar's letter from jamaica this is a lot okay and then of course we have these um Trying to fra trying to uh, unify these fragmented regions, so we have national unification. So we have propaganda movement in the Philippines. We have the Maori nationalism and the New Zealand and wars in New uh, yeah, in New Zealand, Puerto Rico. We have writings of Lola Rodriguez de Tio. We have German and Italian unifications, and we have Balkan nationalisms and the and that led to Balkanization, right? Um, and then we have Ottomanism, which was Ottomanism. Apparently that's a thing. I don't know where I got it from, but apparently it's a thing. So let's search it up. Ottoman. How come the French Revolution's not in there? Um, yeah, we should. I think it's because they already put it in here. Oh, but yeah, okay, we can okay. we can put it in there. Yeah, actually, let's not put it in there because it'll get too convoluted if we put every single one of them. Yeah. Um, I think instead what we should do is we should talk about um, figures, um, different people in uh these revolutions so people in american revolution we can talk about thomas jefferson because he wrote the declaration of independence benjamin franklin george washington john adams anyone else any other big ones S sim oh not american sorry i was going to say latin american else. yes latin american we can talk about uh, our friend simone yes simone bolivar there was another one in Latin America, I think. Uh, 
Oh, I have to spell Simone with the... Simon Bolivar. That sounds wrong. I'll just search up Bolivar. And hopefully something will... Why can't it search up Bolivar? Are you serious? Um, I'm sure Simone Bolivar was in here somewhere. Um... Okay, I'll put Simon Bolivar. Oh, Jose de San Martin. That's it. Um, mm. Jose de San Martin. Okay, and then we have we have the Mexican Revolution, <clears throat> Father Hidalgo, and there was one more, some Moreno guy or something. Oh, Morel Morelos, Jose Morelos. Okay. Um, I am back. All right. How far have we gotten? Um, Wait, what, were the we what were the Caudillos? We, we are on the next one. National. Oh, the Caudillos for the like the regional rulers. Okay. Um, In the so, Americas. Right. Sorry, we had to give my mom her Mother's Day gift. That's uh, what was happening. <laughs> Okay, so in Great Brazil, wish. we had Dom Pedro, um, right? Are we on 5.2? Yeah. Okay, cool. Sorry, keep going. Dom Pedro the first became constitutional monarch. We had... <clears throat> oh, gosh, this is a whole lot of stuff. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I remember, like, Dios. doing this in class. Of, like new information seized power i forgot uh, a lot of this stuff yeah i forgot the a lot latin of american revolution we didn't okay. really go over it that well because so, we like and do you have a question through. yeah in the a shared document does it like update or like yeah it updates it's it's, it's a it's saved on sharepoint on onedrive so it'll update it should That's, be updated okay. i haven't seen it update that's why you I haven't confused. seen it up okay maybe just refresh the page or something are you on the yeah, tried, online version I tried yes yeah okay try opening it on your um desktop because there's an option to open it on desktop oh open desktop app. yeah okay try that that usually works better um the formatting is okay. much better and everything so that might be better um and if not then once again i'll tr i'll turn all of this into a pdf once we're done with all of this um okay Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. that's cool. All right, we have a lot to talk about here. So yeah. let's just take it step by step then, because I don't want to try and rush okay. this. German unification, we have, Germany, we have yeah. um, Otto von Bismarck, right? Yeah. Yeah. Prussia, Otto von Bismarck, and we have Kaiser Wilhelm the, the first. Oh, who's Wilhelm. That? He was um, the new king, yeah. Um, I don't remember looking at any of this somehow. We didn't know. learn about this, but okay. I've seen it come up. So, and it's, it, like, remember it came up on our imperialism documents because Kaiser will. Uh, are these yeah. his slides that we just didn't go over? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are his slides. And then we have real like, politik, which is like, practical, like not we, we went over it in class because we finished the PowerPoint. But why, like, is B -Day, why is B-Day always ahead? So I don't remember I, going over this. A day asks a lot of questions. I know our class we asked this a lot was... of unnecessary questions. No, but also no, I we do that too. He like talks a lot before he starts teaching in your class. Yeah. I don't think he does. I don't remember. Resorgimiento. Resorgimiento, which is the. Oh wait, we're on period by... three. Okay. Right. Also updated. Tabor. Thank you, MG. Yes, no problem. Oh, Count, Count Cavour? I remember yes. that. In I don't Italy. remember that at all. We never learned about that. Um, so I remember talking about him in class. Alina, we oh, didn't sorry. learn this. Yeah, we didn't learn this. Um, no, I, didn't, really didn't, then, okay. I didn't learn this. So it's I'm okay. Having, We're learning it right now. Know. We're learning it right now. I'm having, so we have wait, which Gantel. PowerPoint is this? This is the Unit 5 and 6, Modern Era. And this is on oh, the I mean, like, revolution. Like, Atlantic. Um, this is the revolutions. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, we did. And it seemed we did finish this. Oh my gosh, okay. I do not. Oh, wait. This is the Revolution's PowerPoint? Oh, I think I was yeah. like not paying yeah, attention this is... at this point. I was like. Then we have. <laughs> remember, this before was, like, the this. Day before the last day. And then before this, we had the Italian city states, right? We had the Venetian yes. city states. Venetian um, city. Yeah. So now we have all these different people, such as King Victor Emmanuel and Giuseppe Garibaldi, or Garibaldi. I have no idea yes. how to pronounce that. Um, Giuseppe. Giuseppe. All right. Uh, wait, that's not his name. His name is. Oh wait, no, never mind. There's another Gi- Giuseppe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, MG. Um, the German nationalism like increased because of Napoleon, like Napoleon's wars. Okay. The Napoleonic wars. Um. Increased. There's so much information here. Oh my god. Because of Napoleonic <laughs> wars. <Whoa>. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna move that over because otherwise it's gonna become Bye, a different. Bye, I hope you have a good birthday. Oh wait, she left. Bye, Nabiha. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right, never mind then. So we also had radicals. I forgot also- to mention that. Um. Conservatism oh versus God. liberalism versus radicalism. Oh, one more thing we also, forgot to put here was that? enlightened despots. Enlightened oh, yeah. despots oh. such oh, the as the philosophers. They're philosophers. Yeah. I think that was a typo. Yeah, I fixed it in here. Oh, so, we... yeah, they're not full. Oh, we, we were like, what are philosophers? <laughs> Wait. Wait, no, it's not. It is philo- philosopher. What is a philosopher? That's the French. The, that's the French word the, for. Are, are you sure? Yeah. So, search up no, the word it, philosophe then. No, oh, because no. I remember. I rem, I vividly remember asking Mr. Rosh about this. A philosophe? Yeah, I think I remember us, that too. In our I think class, I he, you he asked me about it. Us, no, 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 he, he said told it us in our class that, that was a typo. Yeah. yeah. Philosophe is the French word for what? philosopher. <laughs> Holy no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just a typo. I've um, been lied to. Carlos, did, <laughs> Carlos didn't tell us that. No, Alina, Alina, you asked, and that's what he said. He said it was a typo. So we have Frederick the Great I do not remember um, that. of Prussia. I don't know. And then we have Maria Theresa. <laughs> and then we have Maria Theresa. Um, Marla. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Austria. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Lost. This is a whole lot of information. This is like just information mm-hmm. overload right now. Okay. Okay, the propaganda movement, um, it was like they talked, they did it in like magazines, pamphlets, and like other um, okay. publications, and they just wanted greater autonomy for the Philippines. Zines, um, pamphlets, more ultimately yearning for more autonomy. Yeah. Okay. Maori nationalism, we've talked about that. We will go into, but they into lost. imperialism. Es- they essentially, lost, they yeah. lost, yeah. Both the Philippines, right? I I think I think so. Okay. And then also in Maori, uh, but Maori lost. Um, Puerto Rico, we have these writings. I guess they're well, supposed to Well, I mean, it says that the Philippine Revolution began in 1896. So I don't know if it lost. Okay. Yeah, so we're not, worried, we're not too worried about that then. Because okay, that's the so- other time period. Prussia, Otto von Bismarck. Go ahead, sorry. Sorry, no, you say, I was just going to say, you put Myri lost to the British, because. Yes. It was Myri lost New to the British. Because I know I always like to get that. Good. Okay. Um, and then we have. Okay, so we've talked about German, we've talked about Italian. All right, what about the 1848 revolutions? Did we talk about that yet? <laughs> What's No. That? I don't even know what nope. that is. We, we, I don't think we ever, ever learned about it. That's okay. Um, the I just said it wasn't that important. It's just like... It's well, I think it, we could still use it, so I'll put it in here at least. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. You just, yeah. He, it's like, don't be like, too concerned that you missed it. All right. Um, efforts, at li- uh, efforts to increase liberalism in Europe, essentially. Um... And manorialism. Mm-hmm. Most demands not met. Um, and then mm-hmm. ultimately ended in parliamentary systems. 
parliamentary mm -hmm. monarchies. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then people in the American Revolution, like we said, we have Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, John Adams. Anything else we need to mention from the... Um, what's it called? From the... American Revolution? Yes, from the American Revolution. No, I think that's... Good. Let's talk about... I think I should mention the Treaty of Paris. Oh, okay. okay. Ended with Treaty of Paris. Okay. Uh, we've talked about that. French Revolution. Um, I think we need to mention uh, some details about the French Revolution, because uh, otherwise there, we have nothing to talk about. Um, yeah. The best the... revolution. <laughs> yes. Um, we have the third Your estate. Revolution. The third estate. Convened the National Assembly. Assembly. This is like um, the, thing, the thing in this PowerPoint that I know the most about. I remember it. Yeah. Against King Louis. Um, Louis. Estates General. Mm -hmm. It it yeah, Estates General. Um, to discuss reforms. So we had the first estate, who were nobility, right? Oh no, clergy was first the, estate. No, the clergy. Because God, God is first, and then people, right? God is Except first. Except the monarch. Yes. Second estate. <laughs> Equals nobility. Hey, I'm just saying what these people are saying. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Equals commoners. Okay. Um, but they were the 98% per of the population. Um, mm -hmm. And then Bastille. Um, Bastille Day. Which is important. Um, Versailles. Oh, remember, we had a big... They freed the prison. And the student. Oh, yes. We had a radicalization... Yeah. Oh, they freed yeah. prisoners. Yes, Bastille freed prisoners. We had the radicalization mm -hmm. with um, of Robespierre. Of oh, radicalization yeah. Yeah. and yeah. reign of terror with um, Jacobin, Jacobine, Jacobin. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I have no. I have <laughs> Jacobin. I don't know. Wait, is the Haitian Revolution here or? Yeah. Um, Yes. Okay, oh did we already gosh. talk about it? No, we'll uh, get there. No. Okay. We'll get there. Okay. We'll I'm doing a lot of tab changing. <laughs> yes, I am doing a lot of... Because I have French very bad short-term memory. The uh, French went so far. They just did a lot. The heading of King, king and they Queen. They just went crazy. No, they saw, they, saw, they, saw, they saw the American Revolution, and then they just took it up like 10 notches. <laughs> Wait, MG, yeah. why don't you just switch? Why don't you just split your screen? Um, I could, but then I have to, I have to like slide back and forth. Resize. And that's annoying. Yeah, it's annoying. I'd rather do this. Yeah. And then, ah, yes, the joyous accord. Um, <gasps> patience, Monsignor. Your time will come. The PowerPoint looks different on your computer. Yeah, it, like, yeah, it is different. different. Yeah, yeah, it's because. It's because originally it was a, um, it was formatted as a, what's it called? It was formatted as a w standard size. This is what happened. So originally it looked like this, I think. Yeah, they were, it was standard uh -oh. size. But then I, 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 I used like this, when I combined them together, I used the traditional, uh -oh. or I mean, the widescreen format. So that's why it for changed in the mm -hmm. formatting. Are we actually having one more week of class? Yeah, yeah and then I don't know what's happening after that, to be honest. What's the reason for that? Um, I wanted I don't know. to like have that week for the AP exam. Same. Yeah. I know. Same. And okay. just to, like calm down and like, relax. Oh my gosh, like, we're the really only fast. people here now. That's so lax. Yeah. That's how it was. That's how it was just me and. Yeah, yeah it's okay. we had a fun time. We're we're getting more out of this than others are. Yeah, this is um, so good for me to like remember. Um. Okay. And then, do we want to talk about Napoleonic revolutions here? Um, the Napoleonic Wars. 
I don't know. Was that a revolution? It, yeah, I, like what happened exactly? I, I never really understood what happened there. In Napoleon? Like yeah, the revolution. Napoleon? Like what Napoleon? happened? He just took Basically, over and then... <laughs> yeah, because France was really weak at the time, and so he came back from fighting abroad and it was like, let's start a revolution. And then he went around Europe conquering places. So th this was more but nationalism, then he was right? Him. I guess yeah. this, was, this had to do with nationalism. So I'll, I'll put it up here um, with nationalism. Um, I'll say Napoleonic Wars. Um, oh, and Yeah, because it increased French nationalism a lot. Okay. French nationalism. Okay. N Napoleonic Wars and French nationalism. Okay. All right. Now, um, we talked about the Latin American revolutions. We'll, we'll actually have to go into more detail about that. But first, let us mention the Haitian Revolution. I never know how to say his name. Tuas. It's Toussaint. Toussaint. It's Toussaint. Toussaint. It's Toussaint. Yeah. You just have to. So, in I French, saw. what you have to do, just you basically just drop the last couple letters of the word, and that, that's, you just pronounce it like that. So, it's Toussaint. Toussaint. Yep. Alright, so in ha um, we have the Haitian Revolution with Toussaint Louverture, um, and what? then we have Loving the... French accent. Yes. So, you know, learning French is difficult because there's certain words like chagrin or chagrin. Like, I don't know how to say that because I know chagrin? how to pronounce... Yeah. I mean, not in French, yeah. but like... Exactly, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I don't know how to pronounce it because I only know how to pronounce it in French. And there's other words like facile, like facile, facile, like how do you pronounce that in English? Like, I don't know. It's so confusing. Is that a word in English? Yeah, it means easy. It comes from French, but... but yeah. Well, it comes from... I mean, it's also facile in, in Spanish. Yeah. yeah. It uh, ultimately comes from Latin, but it came from French because of... Uh, um, Remember, because the Normans invaded and that happened. Anyways. Um, sure, let's pretend. Yeah, let's just course. pretend, yeah. Oh, so these were the Maroons. Okay, I remember talking yeah. about the Maroons. Okay, good. So we have sugar, right? Okay, most lucrative colony. So most lucrative colony, slave revolt. Um, oh my God, and my then we have Jean-Jacques de Salines. Jean-Jacques Dessalines. Yeah, the first president of Haiti. Oh, yeah, in the document. President. Yeah, I remember. Then emperor. We talked about this now. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, now moving on to Latin American revolutions. We had Simon Bolivar, Jose de San Martin. We had... The Actually, okay. no, that was later. Never mind. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so Mexico, I think we need to go back to Mexico. So we had against Caudillo Spanish. named Antonio Lopez Santa de Santa Ana, right? De Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Seventh grade Texas history coming I remember through. That. And then we had oh, Benito Juarez. I learned Juarez. nothing in that class. <laughs> yeah, same. I didn't learn anything. I actually learned a lot from that class. I remember it. Well, yeah. it helped because I. Only one MG. Yeah, because I feel so, like I was able to connect it with the stuff we learned in U.S. history later. That's I learned only. absolutely nothing. I didn't do it. There was no homework. There was basically no homework. I know. I always like talked to. I had a lot of friends in that class, so I just always. Like, I had zero to them. friends in that class. We were in the same class. Oh, we were. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Dave. Okay, Maya, you can attest to how annoying we are. Became, yeah, uh, you were pretty annoying. Okay, um, yeah, well, we had, and then of course we had the La Reforma, um, with new constitution, right? All right, anything else we have to mention about Latin American or in Mexico at least? I think that's about it. All right, then I hope we have the, the, teachers the, Latin, this the week. Wait, wait, wait. So do we have a week? Also, like, have they? Are they gonna like confirm if we have a week after this week? Yeah, Madame Pereira is supposed to tell us apparently. I don't Wait, know. so what are we going to do? Like, learn? No, I don't think we're going to have classes. I think... What? What does that even mean? What are we yeah, I, don't do? know what, I don't know what we're doing, to be honest. I have no idea. I just know that we, <laughs> we have... We don't have classes? 
we still have school. Hopefully this week. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't <laughs> we just know. make him go to school. Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> Hopefully this week will be like a lot of teachers will be like it's the last week, so we can just have a Zoom call and call it yeah. a day. I, I hope. <laughs> Okay, Brazil, we have Dom Pedro I became a constitutional monarch. Um, coffee. Okay, what else? Wait, what are you looking at? Oh, Brazil now. We finished Mexico, oh, okay, okay. we finished Latin America, okay. now we're on Brazil. So Brazil, yeah. we're looking at... Um, oh, I should mention Gran Colombia. Yes, okay. Gran Colombia. I did not pay attention during this PowerPoint at all, so I actually have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Like, okay. I, I was not listening when he was talking about this. That's funny. This is... Uh, okay. I think that's all we really need to mention about Brazil. Um, how do you... We talked about how do you... Okay, now abolitionism. I think for abolitionism, we need to go back earlier. William Wilberforce. Unless it's later. Okay, I think we need to go back for it to enlightenment for abolitionism, I think. So with abolitionism, we did we talk about abolitionism here? I don't think so. We uh, did, yeah. And we just mentioned it like right there. Abolitionism feminism. Oh, we did. Sorry. I'm like I feel like I'm blind yeah. sometimes. Okay. Abolitionism. We have William Wilberforce. Yes. Um in England. We have um, Quakers and evangel Quakers and evangelical Protestants. Yes. Okay. And then we have nationalism. We talked about that. 1848. We talked about that. Italian. We talked about that. German. Good. Okay. Great. I think we're good with revolutions here. All right. Now we move on to industrial revolution. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is a lot. Okay. Uh, this unit is so overwhelming. It's yeah, it's Are very we gonna awesome. finish? I think we're gonna finish. I, I, I think so. Um yeah. There's so much left though. What did you say, Nathan? Are we going to finish by four? I think we'll finish. I think we um by four? We're moving along. We might have to go to like four thirty. Yeah. I think we might stop at four thirty. So, yeah. Uh, I have to leave at okay. 4. Okay. I think Sorry. That's okay. I think we'll finish. That's okay. No it's problem. okay. No problem. Yeah, we'll finish. And if not, then once again, we can do this next week or during the weekday or whatever. Um, okay. okay. Industrial cool, yeah. Revolution. We have new factors leading to the growth of industrial production uh, and the Industrial Revolution, including proximity to waterways, access to rivers and canals. So water is a big deal. Rivers, canals. Um, coal, iron, and timber are a big deal right now. Urbanization is mm -hmm. a big deal. Um, agricultural productivity, um, private yeah, property. Already has a lot of points in it, so that's good. Capital, um, factory system is another big deal. Um, yeah. Specialization Mass of labor production. is another big deal. Yes. Um, did we concentrated production? Okay, so that actually we can mention here as an example. Mention, Mass production. Mention. You can do skill. Huh? Crop rotation. Crop rotation? Okay. Also, I think it's seed drill, not seed drill, I think. See, I thought it was seed drill too, but I then... I thought it was seed drill too. But then somewhere or another... My book says seed drill. Yeah, me too. That should be seed drill, right? What's a drill? Yeah, I don't know why I thought it was a seed drill. Oh, maybe it's because we say see drill. I don't know. Maybe it's because I thought it was like the D and the R. Yeah, I, don't, yeah, you're I, don't, I don't know what a see drill is, <laughs> to be honest. I just know it's seed a seed drill. Okay. You can also put it. just drills into the ground to place seeds. seeds. Okay, all right. So now let's Not just basically thing. talk about all the different technologies that we can talk huh? about here. So. You can also put demand for unskilled labor. Demand for high skilled Cause... labor? Yes. Like, yeah. Um, did you say for high both. skilled or unskilled? Wasn't it like both? Like, for like some things, it was like 
like skilled labor and then for like factory it was like unskilled labor. Oh, I thought it was right? high skilled. Like that. Why why was there there was demand for unskilled labor? It wasn't like oh. demand, they just had unskilled like, oh, there labor was, jobs. Okay. So let's just say unskilled labor. Skilled labor. Um yeah, let's the just say cottage unskilled. industry. Cottage industry, yeah, I was about to say. Cottage industry, I think is that before? Like moving? That was before, and we mentioned yeah, that earlier like in the previous one, so that's fine. Okay. Now you oh, can okay. do that contextualization. Um, spinning Jenny. Spinning Jenny. We frame. talked about that in Waterframe. Um, okay. We should mention his name, Arkwright's Waterframe. Mm -hmm. Oh, interchangeable parts. Did you put that and Hargreaves. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we put interchangeable Jenny. parts here. Hargreaves. Hargreaves. Oh, Hargreaves. Har 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. De Debbie just created the water. <laughs> okay. Guys, this is recorded. <laughs> this is recorded. Oh. It's okay. We say this with the most affection. Okay. Anyways. Um, it's okay. Listen, you, it's just so like we have a demand for raw things. materials, right? Um, uh -huh. Yes. From outside. Raw materials. I'm going to actually move this over to conserve space. There we go. Um, and... The Royal Society, right? What was that again? Yes. Enclosure movement. Okay, yes, Royal Society. It got a lot quieter. Royal Society <laughs> in um, England, right? I muted Alina and she didn't notice. <laughs> Oh, this team. What was the Royal Society again? They were like, they're basically, they're like this group that, um, they have like math and science and technology and they have like, well, now at least what the Royal Society does is they have like a library of all these famous people's works like Isaac Newton and like, you know, like people from science and technology. They like, I feel like what... To be honest, I don't really know what they do, but I know that they have a library of um, where they have like records of their original documents and stuff of like these designs and these industrial designs and stuff. That's all I know. And why is everyone muted? Can everyone please unmute themselves? This is dumb. Oh, sorry, I was on the theme. I, I don't even notice. Okay, second agricultural also, sorry, revolution. I didn't hear something. you ask that question. Um, sorry. We can say <laughs> crop rotation and second agricultural revolution. revolution. Okay, we talked about tall seed drill and McCormick's mechanical reaper. Um, these are some other things we can put in there. Uh, we'll say this. Increased population. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, Eli, did we t say that these were Whitney's? Yeah, we t said that they were Whitney's cotton gin and interchangeable parts. Ford's assembly line. Mm -hmm. The enclosure movement should probably be closer to the bottom because it happened after. Okay. All right. Yes, and that we can talk about with unskilled labor. Okay. Um, steam engine. What what steam what? engine? Yeah. Nah, don't even make that joke again. Why? Engine, um, allowed for. I don't know. I don't know what you are talking steam about. Locomotive. Stop! Stop! No one needs that. Okay, I think that's good the for steam. that. Moving on. All right, we're gonna. <laughs> anything else that we can think of before we move on? Oh, weapons. I think we, that's something we don't mention a lot. We don't talk about um, weapons a lot. I have so much power. <laughs> I can do so much. Alright, what were some of the weapons that were in the Industrial Revolution? Sorry. Nassim! Okay. Um, Sorry, I wanted to see weapons? if it Wasn't it yeah. like the Maxim machine Okay, Nassim, stop. I wanted to see if it would work, sorry. Wait, I can't see your screen anymore, MG. Oh, okay, now I can. 
muzzle, muzzle loading, loading. Muzzle is, um, the, the maxim machine gun sorry i don't know i don't that? know gun yeah we should that was That's the most yeah, the, maxim, yeah. the maxim gun was pretty important yeah. okay all right i think those two are good anything else we want to mention here or is that it it's good all right cool all right industrialization spreads in the period we're looking at um steam powered industrial production so and then we're talking about global manufacturing um middle eastern okay their share declined as new methods became more common they spread to other parts okay so basically industrialization is diffusing great so we have steam locomotives steamships shipbuilding um in other areas so basically these declined. Asia declined while Europe developed. Why did Asia decline? Because um, because their share declined in global manufacturing because um, of the industrial Revo revolution in Europe. Oh, okay. Wait, so because they were getting the goods from Europe. Yes. So for Russia and Japan, should we put like Russian Westernization and like Japanese? Do we, should we put that here? Yeah, we, like... we can put that here. Yeah, I'm sure it'll come up later, but let's just put it here for now. Um, okay. Russian westernization and Japanese ah. modernization. Also, do we need... Oh, wait, never mind, never mind. That's later. Okay, good. Um, oh, okay, I see. Okay. Remember how we mentioned Ottomanism? Sorry, this is really random. I know we're going back. But we meant, yeah, we mentioned oh, Ottomanism. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so that has to do with the Young Turks. And, yeah, that has to do with Young Turks and Turkish nationalism. Okay. Okay, are there, is there anything about re revolts here in general? Revolts were. Like, what do you What do you mean? Like in consequences of in actually, rationales, indigenous responses. Yes. <sighs> never, never mind, never mind. Let's just just ignore what I said. Did yeah, did forget about um, it. the yeah. industrialization thing have the transcontinental railroad? Um. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That was. Oh, the Trans-Siberian Railroad also in Russia. Okay. Transcontinental Railroad. Was that in Europe or in the U.S.? That was the um, U.S., right? The Transcontinental. Yeah. I think so. Europe? Why does it say it connected the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans? How does that even... <laughs> Yeah, it was America. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was America. Yeah. I, was, okay. I was, like, confused. I was like, how do you connect ocean? Um, trans... <laughs> <laughs> Trans-Siberian Rail Roads... Railroad in Russia. Okay, all right. Anything yes. else we need to put here? Um, wait, what were you saying about revolution? Huh? Revolts? You're talking about revolts or something? Yeah, I think that'll go in later in consequences of industrialization. That'll go later. So okay, we'll that's, that that's later. fine. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so let's keep, uh, keep them moving. Oh, sorry, one more thing. I, want, I need to go back and add this in, because otherwise we're going to forget. Jose Marti, I know we talked about him somewhere. If there's did. an accent on the I. Oh, there's an accent on the I know. So. Jose. Ho. Ah. <laughs> Jose. <laughs> Jose Marti in Cuba. Yes, there we go. Okay, good. Now let's okay. go back to where we were. Sorry. Okay. Alright, are you good, Alina? Huh? Are you good, Alina? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Alright, okay. Alright, okay. Technology of the industrial age. Um, we're looking at machines, steam engines, and internal combustion engine. Um, we're looking at... Fossil fuels, right? We're looking at coal and oil, specifically. The what is the second industrial revolution? 
There's a oh, second that's one? Oh, okay, okay. oh, basically the first one was like... Britain, right? Uh, or no, never mind, sorry. And, so like I guess it's not the diffuse, and this is more about chemicals and yeah, electricity. Chemicals and, and, okay. Yeah. And then, oil, electricity, communication. Okay, so we're now we're looking yeah. at communication and deva transportation, uh, and that yeah. led to trade and migration. So those are the big things. Okay, yeah, here's uh, where we uh, talked about transcontinental railroad. It's okay. In, like, this. All right. Oh, the so, radio? The radio, if it's mentioned? <sighs> and what you are we talking about? about radio? Else? Yeah. By okay. Guglielmo, telegraph, Marconi, radio, Gold and telegraph. Did you say Guglielmo? Uh, okay. What else are we looking for? Ra radio and telegraph. Guglielmo. Anything else that should go here? Oh, you put Alexander Graham Bell. The telephone. Okay. When did he develop the telephone, though? 1876. Okay. 1896. Right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. Google, yeah. Sorry. Oh, I remember this. Alexander Graham Bell, because it's Bell, Ring, Ring, Telephone, and then we had Thomas Edison. Yeah, I remember light. that. Actually, you know, it's a myth. Thomas Edison actually didn't invent the light bulb. That was a lie. Um, it's a myth. What? Yeah, I think it's a myth. I read Thomas Jefferson, and I was really confused. I think it's I think it's a myth that Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. I think they're both myths. Yeah, I feel like I've heard of that. Okay. Did Anyways. Thomas Edison? <laughs> <laughs> no, I definitely heard that like Graham Bell stole someone else's invention or something like that. All right. So, okay, yeah, moving, let's on, <laughs> moving on. Moving um, on. I think that's good here. I, is there anything else we need to mention here? Um. No, we're good. Move on. All right. Okay, moving on. Industrialization governance. Okay, yeah, so, like, um, state sponsored vision. So, we're looking at Muhammad Ali's Not the Boxer. Um, development <laughs> of the cotton textile industry in Egypt, the Meiji Restoration and Japanese Westernization. Um, so we can definitely talk about self uh, self strengthening movement here. I Commodore think. Commodore Matthew Perry. Yes. Yes, yes. yes Commodore Matthew Perry. Is this in the Perry. same PowerPoint? Huh? Is this in the same PowerPoint? What it's do you in mean? Modernization. It's only that big PowerPoint. Right? Um, yeah. Self strengthening this is movement of people in the East. Oh. Movement in China. This thing right? about the Muhammad Ali and the Mamluks is like the it's in modernization of people in the East. Yeah, yeah, about Egypt. Wait, this is this is Mamluks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in conflict okay. with them. So conflict with the Mamluks or with the Mamluks? Conflict. Conflict. Okay. okay. It was Ottomans against Mamluks, right? Okay. Yeah. Also, another thing you can put is the feudalism was abolished in Japan by the Charter Oath. Okay, so feudalism. So where do we put that here? With I Japan, know, I guess. I just, yeah. Feudalism, feudalism abolished with by Charter Char Oath. Is that all mine? Or okay, um, okay. So feudalism abolished with Charter Oath. You said. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Also, this is the thing Anna was talking about, the Zaibatsu or whatever. Okay, so what is this Zaibatsu thing? I never really Aren't got Aren't they, that. like, um, like, family-owned... It's they're powerful, owned, like, Japanese Family-owned, yeah. um, industrial, I guess, businesses. Yeah. I'm sorry, I need to see the PowerPoint to understand this. I don't get what's going on. I remember Mr. Rash was so confused. He was like, what is Zaibatsu? <laughs> So, did these Zaibatsu get, did they develop, or did they, like, get destroyed, or They developed. Happened? Oh, they developed during this industrialization? Yeah. Yeah, because they were okay. industrial firms. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, duh. Sorry. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> Zaibatsu, okay. 
monopolistic um, oh, industrial firms. Yeah. We love capitalism. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Um, not that I can think of. Hold on. All right. Economic development in the industrial age. Western European countries okay. began abandoning mercantilism and adopting free trade policies, particularly in response to <laughs> mercantilism, mercantilism, I don't Sorry. know. Um, Sorry. Bear, Sorry. capitalism and free markets. <laughs> um, so, transnational yeah. businesses, um, mm -hmm. uh, industrial capitalism, it increased standards of living and it continued to improve. Um, the the Hong Kong and sh uh, Shanghai one was owned by it was it was a British owned um, yes bank so it's like transnational oh okay okay interesting there's actually in India HSBC is actually a pretty big deal oh really I yeah oh, oh really I didn't know that. at least in Kolkata I don't know if it's in other in other Indian states too how do you know so much about Kolkata because I was born there, I go there some... Um, oh, yeah, I was I born there, so I mean, it's kind of like my... Wait, my I thought... You, is Kolkata in West Bengal? Yeah, Kolkata is in West Bengal. I did not know that for some reason. Okay. Kolkata was once the capital of India during the British Raj. I don't know why. I thought it was on the West Coast. How did I not know this? Wait, where is it? I think I was that. associating it with Calicut this whole time, so I oh, thought yeah, it was I over think there. Yeah, I think you confused it with Calicut. Okay. Wait, so where is it? Like, it's on the eastern side. Here. Like, I, can, I, can, I can pull up a map. Yeah, pull up a map for me. It's Maybe. like northeast. Very you know what? Northeast. Forget it. Forget about. Forget about. It. I'm gonna look. Search it up directly on Word. Insert online picture. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Because right now, my because my, my internet is just being weird right now. I cannot handle it right now. It's okay. I can look it up on my phone. <laughs> Bicycles look so funny. Look, look at the picture. Wait, <laughs> look at the tail. I saw it. I saw it. It's so funny. <laughs> Neva, yeah. calm down. It's not that funny. So <laughs> funny. Oh, it's on like the. It's I like want a bike like that. Easter. He looks so funny. He's all right. You know what? I don't think this is loading either. It's I think the, Alina... I see it. It's on the. Okay. All right. It's perfect. on the very eastern side. It's like yes. right there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 near Bangladesh. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. That that is the Kineshor. It's a temple. Um, that is the Victoria Memorial in honor of Queen Victoria, who we all know. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. That's, that's so cool. And, mm. Yeah, that's more pictures of the Dokineshwar. Um, Dokineshwar is a pretty big temple in Kolkata. Um, okay. I think we get the idea. All right, moving yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Unilever, based in England and the Netherlands and operating in British West Africa and the Belgian Congo. We also saw Lipton Tea, right? Yeah, Lipton yeah. Tea. India. Uh, oh, wait, what about, what about the... Yeah, the soap. About, do we need to talk about Cecil Pear, Rhodes? Pears? Sorry, what are we, no. why are we talking about Cecil Rhodes? He was the founder because... of De Beers Diamonds. <laughs> De Beers. Because he, he was the one who did the railroad project. For the like across Africa that okay. he wanted to like. I but don't we're talking know, about please. transnational businesses here. Um, Cecil Rhodes would go okay that's fine. over no, here. No, I no think. he he owned or he founded De Beers, which was a transnational company. What? Yeah, De Beers that? Diamonds. Like D E. De and then Beers. Beers. Like that? No, it's two words. Well, it's two words. Oh, De Beer. Beers, and then diamonds. <laughs> I, I think, think that's funny. That. I'm sorry. That sounds fun. That just sounds funny. Um, anyways, um, we have financial instruments mm. such as stock markets and limited liability corporations. 
LLCs. Um, all right. Did we talk about the Tanzimat reforms anywhere? The what? Did we talk about the Tanzimat reforms anywhere? That's for no, the Ottomans, so. right? That's like that's like after, right? Oh yeah. Uh, oh, that's later. That's actually in. We were just about to get there. All right. Okay. Um, cool. Okay, any other companies that we need to mention here? Maybe, maybe not. Let me collapse um, all and see. And I, if it, it would be in imperialism if it was anywhere. Um, yeah, we saw Lipton tea. Um, <laughs> the soap. Was it the? It was Pears. Like the Pears. Oh, the soap. What Pears. the soap? Oh Pears, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, pear Pears. soap. I say peers, honestly. I, oh, I, I, th I think it is peers. I say, I say pears, though. I have no, no idea which one it is. It, it's funny how they pears. literally straight up use the term the white man's burden in that advertisement. I know. I know. That's so much. All right. <laughs> did Ru did, did Rudyard, Rudyard Kipling really create the term? Or... Was it? I don't know like... if he created the term, but I think he definitely popularized it. Also, it's so it's so whack. He wrote the Jungle Book, and I used to oh, yeah. love the Jungle Book. Oh yeah, the oh, wait, Jungle really? Book is a it's 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 oh, yeah, an yeah, allegory of the allegory is directly about imperialism. But I thought oh, I didn't know it was like I didn't know it was like encouraging imperialism. Because the animals are supposed to represent like the different countries. <gasps> So what? who was who was Mowgli? So Mowgli was um, I actually don't know a lot about this. We can search it up because I know I, I searched it up in the past one time, and I it was like I was shook. Book. What? I'm so shook. I haven't seen the Jungle Book in a long time, but it was one of my favorite I've, like, watched movies. It in a... Wait, can Jungle. I send Wales? Why is my people are gonna watch the recording? So weird. Okay. Jungle. I'm surprised Carl never mentioned it. He was well, he's so excited Alpha about it. I know. Yeah. He. I'm just surprised that he usually oh, likes to talk about. Oh, Hold on. Hold on. It was it was in here. Yes. I, I visited this this website a couple of days. An ago. allegory of the British Raj. Yes. That's um, so weird. Oh, MG. I like your screen for Google. Oh, thank Have you. Have you not seen it, Neha? You're no, crazy. I've seen it. I just want, I've seen it many interest. times. Okay. All right. So it says um, they're advised by several leaders. Okay. So the wolves are the British in India are the wolf pack. They're advised by several leaders who have uh, graduated from being wolves to uh, being benign. Uh, Bhalu the bear, uh, Bhagira, uh, the retired general of the Raj, and Ka, the contriver of the cunning uh, of cunning in the cantonment. Uh, and the others to whom we may assign the some. Their logo are Indians. What the heck? Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't know that. Oops. So, because Bandar Log, because Bandar Log translates to monkey people, and yeah. that's what that's yeah. what the that's what the British saw the monkey. That's what they saw them as. They saw the rest of that's the, crazy. the Africans as uncivilized monkey people. Wow. And that's why that's why the wolves take in the that's why the wolves take in the uh, monkey people and essentially, you know, they're dominant. Ka is, Ka is supposed to be good in the actual book. I'm so shook. I didn't even yeah. know this. This is a very interesting interpretation of the Jungle Book. Um, that's wild. And it makes sense because after we read that poem by Rudyard Kipling, that was kind of insane. I know, yeah, that was... Okay. All right. Moving on. Anything else we have to put here, or are we good here? We're good. Well, so Paris is, like, Paris apostrophe after that. Oh, Paris apostrophe, okay. Paris is... Okay, I see. Okay. Paris is... Okay. I don't know. Okay, yeah, move on. <laughs> okay, moving on. Reactions yeah, to the industrial fine. economy? Okay, so now we're moving on to our... Um, Favorite and least favorite, Karl Marx, um, in response to social and economic Karl changes, Marx. industrial Marx. capitalism, uh, promoted various types of political, uh, social, educational, and urban reforms, um, industrialized states. Many workers organized themselves up in labor unions. That's a big deal. 
jobs. Yeah. Um, working conditions, limited hours, gain higher wages. Uh, worker movements and political parties, that's important. Um, discontent with those espoused by Karl Marx and the ideas of socialism and communism. Um, Fun stuff. Ottoman oh, Empire, just... King China, reform. Okay, reform efforts. So, yes, so we have the urban living conditions, we have the Luddites revolt. So, this is where we can put all the awesome. revolts, I think. Go ahead. Which revolts? Um, we can talk about, yeah, so we have the Tanzimat oh, oh, reforms. Like the, okay. Also, there's also uh, utilitarianism. Yeah, that's what I was just trying to say. John Stuart Mill. Yes, John Stuart okay. Mill. Okay. I have to go do something really quick, but I'll All be right. back. Goodbye. Um, yeah. So he 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 wanted um, like like he wanted to allow labor unions, limit child labor. Okay. Let me make sure this is still recording because sometimes I have to. Yeah, it, it is. is. Yeah. We're good. Okay. Um, John Stuart Mill, utilitarianism, and he wanted to limit what? No, um, limit, yeah, and then allow labor unions. Labor and allow labor. Um, you're frozen. Or maybe I'm frozen? No, I can hear you. Uh, he has disappeared. <laughs> it's just us. Um, what do we do? My Skype is being really stupid because, like, the the microphone and speaker keep changing to, like, the Zoom microphone and speakers for some reason. And so, like, so, like it, the audio always cuts in and out. It's so stupid. I don't know what's happening with MG. He said he, had, he, said, he said he had internet problems. Maybe it's that. I hate Skype. It's so dumb. I feel it's, very useless right now because I don't know any history, so I'm just kind of sitting here. Just get your book out and then you can. Oh, what happened? I don't have.